Hello, welcome to our freaky physics fun house. Uh, Monsters Galore is the name of our fun house, and you're going to see in the, our floor plan here that our first attraction is the image we produce on a screen, a huge monster. Then you're going to see a nail scratching on a chalkboard, some instruments, uh, shadows, colored shadows, and mirrors, lasers and fog, and a bucket slam. So here's how it all ties into physics. Our um, instruments, our string instruments, which is going to be like a guitar, it has transverse waves that when you uh, increase or decrease the length, the mass, mass and tension of the strings, it's going to produce very high pitched sounds for like suspense or low pitched sounds for like, you know, very like ominous feeling. Then you're going to come to the uh, chalkboard, which is going to have a ghost scratching its nail across it first softly, and then it gets louder, and that's because the amplitude is increasing. And that that um, is the height of the crest and uh, the height of the trough, and that's the amplitude increasing. Then you have the skeleton right here, who is taking bones from his rib cage or um, whatever, and, and blowing pipes, um, and it has to do with the wavelength. A uh, closed pipe will have one fourth of the wavelength to get into it. An open pipe, it's going to have half the wavelength to get into it. Finally, you have the bucket slam, which includes wave diffraction. So the, it's going to produce a really loud sound because the sound waves are going through a very small opening and it's going to diffract and the amplitude is going to increase to really loud. Um, then you come to the uh, co additive color mixing. That's how the goblin, which is going to be following you, will have uh, three shadows behind him. The penumbra will be black, as you see here, and the, um, the, the umbra will be black, and the penumbras will be red and blue, and the back background will then be magenta because of additive color mixing. Then you come to the huge image of a monster on a screen. That image is produced from an upside down puppet being um, turned right side up and producing a real image through a convex lens. Then you come to a uh, fog with a bunch of crazy lights in it and they're going to be all shaking crazy and the fog you won't be able to see anything, it'll confuse you. And that has to do with uh, refraction because uh, as the light travels through the diamonds, it, the diamonds have a very high index of refraction, about 2.5, and uh, the diffract or, or refract, sorry, and or bend at a very high rate, and then they'll get all shaky and crazy. Then you come to the mirrors. We have plane mirrors, convex mirrors, and concave mirrors. The plane mirrors, uh, you're just going to see yourself and the goblin behind you, and angle of incidence equals angle of refraction, so uh, reflection, and that's why you'll see yourself in the mirror followed by the goblin. And convex and concave mirrors make you seem smaller, and the goblin seem really huge. So thank you for coming to our Freaky Physics Funhouse. Hi, welcome to our Freaky Physics Funhouse. Uh, the, the theme of our funhouse is monsters galore. Uh, you're going to enter here and the first thing you're going to see is a huge image of a shadow uh, made by this convex lens. And you're going to hear a nail scratching which creates the sound that everybody hears. As you keep walking you're going to see a skeleton uh, uh, with, with wispy sounds coming out of it due to some uh, it's hollow bones. As you keep going you're going to see a guitar which, uh, which has different uh, string, strings because of different sizes and which produces different sounds. Uh, then you're going to see a different colored shadows and a monster that appears like it's chasing you. Uh, he, here you have uh, many different mirrors, uh, some are convex, some are concave, and it, you're going to feel like lost and distorted. Uh, right here you're going to, there's going to be a fog that goes on you and different lights will be shining all around you through, in the fog because of uh, what uh, diamond, because the diamonds are going to refract the light. And finally as you exit you're going to hear an ominous sound from the bucket that keeps slamming over and over again. Uh, our first one here is uh, our, our guitar which has, in each string has a different size and uh, tension and that, that each, that makes, means that each sound, each string would have a different sound. Uh, next we have our nail scratching and as it scratches the, the amplitude keeps increasing because it will scratch harder. Uh, next we have our skeleton and as it's going to be blowing air through diff different uh, 
its different bones, and since they're hollow and closed, it'll produce one fourth of a wavelength and a, uh, deep, a deeper sound than uh, when it's open. Uh, for a bucket slam, it's going to slam, but it's going to uh, the sound waves are going to go right through a little hole here, and then after it comes out, it's going to expand uh, more than where, where it hit, and so a lot of people will hear, oh my god. Hi, this is Monster. This welcome to our funhouse, Monsters Galore. First, you're going to walk through a series of mazes. First of which, a light is shown for an object in a lens, projecting the object on a screen, which produces a large shadow that scares people using a convex lens. Next is a nail, is a nail scratching on the door, which produces amplitude because of the energy exerted on the nail. After that, we have a skeleton, which his bones are completely made out of hollow pipes, so when air is shown through it, but it produces vibrating columns of air, which have closed tubes which produce a fourth wavelength. After that, we have mixing colors onto a projected screen. The colors mix into a, create colorful umbras and penumbras, and give a series that that uh, three goblins of different colors are chasing you. Add, and it's also an additive. Wait, no, it's green. Um, this is a lens and is projecting an image of a shadow of a monster onto a screen, which produces a large object that scares people. After that, there's a refracting light against fog. This makes it seem as if we're not doing anything. Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds have a larger index of refraction because of their molecular construction. This is a mirror. <laughs> it reflects stuff and because of the index, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. reflection. <laughs> It's also using curved mirrors, like such as convex and uh, concave, which distort the image into making it upside down or small or just very big. Thank you for visiting. <laughs>